I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from a test paper on trigonometric functions. The question is rewrite sine pi by 4 minus pi by 6 using compound angle formula then calculate the exact value of the expression. So the compound angle formula which we are talking about is, is sine a minus b is equals to sine a cos b minus cos a sin b, right? So we'll apply this particular formula to expand, simplify, and then find the exact values of the given expression, which is sine of pi by 4 minus pi by 6. Now, a is pi by 4, b is pi by 6. So we could write this as sine of pi by 4 cos pi by 6 minus cos of pi by 4 sine pi by 6. Now these are special triangles. They have exact values. So let's draw these special triangles. So this is pi by 4 triangle and then let me just draw another triangle. Let that be pi by 6 triangle. So it is pi by 4 triangle where the sides are 1, 1 square root 2 and here we have pi by 6 is this place for me. 1, 2, and square root 3, right? So we'll use this, these triangles for ready reference of exact values. Sine pi by 4. Pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2. Cos pi by 6. You're looking from that side, right? So square root 3 over 2 times square root 3 over 2 minus cos pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 sine pi by 6, so opposite side, so 1 over 2, right? So that gives us common denominator of 2 square root 2, 2 square root 2, and the numerator is square root 3 minus 1. Now, if you leave the answer at this stage, you might lose some marks, since normally we do not leave answer with radical sign in the denominator. So we need to rationalize at this stage. So let us rationalize. That really means you need to multiply and divide by square root 2, right? So when you do that, then what happens? In the numerator, you have to apply the distributive property. Square root 2 times square root 6, 3 becomes square root 6. Minus, square root 2 times minus 1 is square root 2. In the denominator, square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. So we get 2 times 2, right? So we could write this answer as square root 6 minus square root 2 over 4. So that is the final answer. Now here is a suggestion. At times, what you can use, especially in such cases, that pi by 4 triangle, we could use instead of 1, 1 square root 2. If I take the values square root 2, square root 2, and 2, then we avoid this step. Let me show you how, right? So I'll again start with the same question. Let me rewrite this, right? So we have sine pi by 4 minus pi by 6 as equals to sine pi by 4 cos pi by 6 minus, I mean, cos pi by 4 sine pi by 6, right? So now in this case, I will use this particular triangle to substitute sine and cosine values for pi by 4. Sine pi by 4 now could be written as square root 2 over 2, right? So it is square root 2 over 2. So no need to rationalize. That's the whole idea. Pi by 6 for cosine is square root 3 over 2 minus cos of pi by 4 is square root 2 over 2 and sine of pi by 6 will be half. So now you see common denominator is 4 and then we get square root 6 minus square root 2 as our answer. So this is a much simpler method. So that is a better method to do, right? So best way to solve this particular question is this. So apply this particular triangle. It really helps. I hope this helps you. Thank you and all the best.